What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today, we're going to be going over the question, just how tall will a mellow ball be? So Melo will be starting his run at the JBA this month, and compared to last year, we've seen some big growth in his height. Many people who have seen Melo at his JBA practice have claimed that he has grown and looks to be about 6'6", six six, and LeVar later confirmed this and he predicts that Melo will end up at around 6'8 or 6'9". LeVar also said that he knew Melo was going to be the tallest of all of his children, because quote, the youngest son is always the tallest. This is only 100% true if someone has only one son, and by LeVar's logic, if he keeps on having sons, eventually one of them is going to be 8 feet tall. But that's besides the point, Melo is 16 years old, and he'll turn 17 in August, and I'm wondering just how tall will Melo be once he enters the 2020 NBA Draft, which by then he'll be 18 years old and will have finished one year of college if he goes through that route. So Melo has gone through an insane growth spurt over the past 4 years. In 2014, Melo was listed at 5'8", and now he's currently 6'6 for a 10 inch growth spurt over that span. It's unlikely that Melo will go through another crazy spurt like that again, as most males stop growing between the ages of 16 to 18, but some males do grow all the way to 21 and sometimes even later, as we've seen cases where players in the NBA continue to grow out in the league such as Brandon Ingram for a recent case. Putting Melo's height and weight of approximately 6'6 and 170 pounds, which he was listed at 165 pounds when he was 6'5, and it didn't look like he gained much weight at all, so I'd say he gained an extra 5 pounds just from growth, and I've also put his mother and father's heights into the height calculator, and Melo was projected to grow about another inch and hit 6'7". I think this is a pretty accurate projection given that he is near 17 years old, and he should have another year to grow, though it may not be at the same rate as he was when he was younger. If Melo can get another inch or two in his height, he could be a mismatch on offense in the NBA where he could become an oversized point guard or shooting guard that can play and defend multiple positions. The extra height can also help his draft stock even more, and I think he'll at least grow another inch as long as he keeps on working out, getting enough sleep, and eating well. But I do think Melo needs to eat more or do some lifting, as he does look very skinny, but I think his body will fill out with time. So overall, I do think Melo will hit 6'7". 6'8 is pretty realistic, but I think 6'9 and over is going to be pretty unlikely. But who knows, we'll see what happens. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA and basketball content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also drop a comment down below for your predictions on Melo's height. Let me know as I do read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys. So once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.